Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. Today we're going to go over how to install Anaconda on Windows 10. I'm Braden and I am a Python data analyst and consultant. I'm assuming that you know what Anaconda is, but just in case, Anaconda is a distribution of Python, the programming language. It's specifically designed for scientific analysis what we think of as data science and data analysis. The nice thing about Anaconda is that it already comes with many of the packages and tools that we need to get started on our data science and data analysis projects right out of the box so we don't have to mess with anything trying to set things up to get going. Me personally, I like to use just a plain version of Python Sometimes Anaconda is a little behind uh, on the latest updates and versions. However, that doesn't mean that for the majority of the use case that Anaconda won't fulfill our needs. With that, let's get started. If you are interested in installing just a plain version of Python instead of Anaconda, you can check out the video that I made. I'll put a link down to in the description below. I'll also put a link in this video somewhere on the screen. To install Anaconda, we will search for Anaconda Python. We'll want to click on the individual edition. There is this other link to the Anaconda website, but the individual edition will take us straight to the downloads page. Click on the download button that will bring us to links to the version that we want Windows, Mac, or Linux. We have an option for 64-bit or 32-bit. There's also Python 2 that we can install if we need to but otherwise just select the most recent version of Python that's available. That will start downloading the executable. Once that's finished we can click on the executable and start our installation. So now that it's downloaded I'm going to click the executable and on the screen we can just select next. We'll want to read through the entire license agreement. I hope that you guys can read as fast as I can. I definitely read through every single word of that. If you agree, select agree. We can choose just for me or all users. I'm just going to select just for me. We can select which location we want our installation. And we can decide whether or not we want to add Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable. I am not going to select that. Anaconda has a good user interface that we can get to everything that we need to relatively easy. It might take a few moments for our installation to finish here. So I'll skip ahead until I am finished installing. After installation has completed, we can select Next. And we have the option to check out this website for PyCharm for Anaconda. I'm going to skip it. We also can select whether or not we want websites for more information on Anaconda to open up. This might be a good option for you to learn more about Anaconda and how to get started with it. I'll leave that up to you if you want to read it. To open Anaconda, we can go to the Start menu and click on the icon, Anaconda Navigator, and that will open up the application. We can decide if we want to send anonymous data to Anaconda. This will help them create a better version of Anaconda. I always select yes, right? but you can decide what you feel comfortable with. And here are all the options of what Anaconda has to offer. The command prompt, Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, PowerShell prompt, Spider, which is a GUI for working with data, and we can even install RStudio. 
the other ones QT console GluViz, and orange 3 I've never actually used we can launch PowerShell prompt from here and look up information about our anaconda install by using conda will tell us a little bit about our version and some of the commands available we can run Python by typing in Python and create our first program by typing print open parentheses apostrophe hello space world exclamation mark apostrophe close parentheses and hitting enter that's our first Python program very exciting and now we can type exit close and or open and closed parentheses thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed the content and found value in it please consider liking the video and subscribing to get more content in the future also comment down below on what you're most excited for in using anaconda in the future